that breath moving is what opens us up to receive as we move into a more contemplative section of our service. Once we get in, we'll move through a chant and then into silent meditation. Because we want that silence to be deep, I want you to turn off your phones, even if you don't think you're going to get a call. And I won't even blame you if while you're doing it, you're a little distracted. It's OK. It's OK. We have time before we get to that meditation. Thank you. I want to invite up Christy Randolph to give us our reading this morning. Christy. From the Soul's Code by James Hillman. My war, and I have yet to win a decisive battle is with those modes of thought and those conditioned feelings that prevail in the way I think and feel about my external and internal reality. Of those conditioned or prejudiced thoughts and feelings, none are more tyrannical than the convictions that clamp my mind and heart into my own single-minded fundamentalism. You overcome those conditioned prejudices by looking in the mirror of your life. Each visible image shows your inner truth. So when you're estimating others, what you see is what you get. It therefore becomes critically important to see generously, or you will get only what you see. Anytime you're going to grow, you're going to lose something in order to gain something new. You're losing what you're hanging on to to keep safe. You're losing habits that you're comfortable with. You're losing familiarity with your old prejudiced fundamentalisms. And from musician Eddie Watkins Jr., the universe is doing the work for me. And all I have to do is pay attention. When I pay attention, my old preconceived notions are shattered and my reality is changed to something new. <laughs> 